Hi guys! Meron na kong problem para sa inyo. So this will be my random math challenge number 2. So we need to simplify this expression. 1 half plus 1 third all over 1 half minus 1 fourth times 1 and 1 fifth. So pwede nyo munang i-pause yung video at saka nyo sagutan and then after nyo masagutan, i-saka nyo panoorin yung solution ko. Okay? So try to solve it first. Ready? Go! Okay, this time I will show now my solution. So let's try to solve first the fractions 1 half plus 1 third and 1 half minus 1 fourth. Okay, so for 1 half plus 1 third, we can use the cross multiplication technique. So we have 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 5 over 6. And for 1 half minus 1 fourth, using again cross multiplication technique, we have 2 times 4 is 8, 1 times 4 is 4, minus 1 times 2 is 2. So we have 2 over 8 or 1 fourth. Now we have 5 over 6 all over 1 fourth times 1 and 1 fifth. Okay, let's simplify this first. So since fraction also denotes division, we can divide 5 6 by 1 fourth. So we have 5 over 6 times reciprocal ng 1 fourth is 4 over 1. So may makakancel tayo sa 4 tsaka sa 6 na common factor nila na 2. So yung 4 ay magiging 2 na lang and then yung 6 ay magiging 3 na lang. So, we can multiply now. 5 times 2 is 10 over 3 times 1 is 3. Then, multiplied by 1 and 1 fifth. So, since meron tayong mixed number na 1 and 1 fifth, convert muna natin siya sa improper. So, we have 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So, we have 6 over 5. Okay? Now, let's multiply them. So, may maka-cancel tayo na common factor ng 3 tsaka 6, which is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2 na lang. Same as doon sa 10 tsaka 5. May common factor sila na 5. So, yung 5 ay magiging 1 na lang, and then yung 10 ay magiging 2 na lang. So, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. 2 times 2 is 4, over 1 times 1 is 1. So therefore, our final answer is 4 over 1 or 4. Nakuha nyo ba yung tamang sagot? So sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood. See you on my next video guys!